Hello everyone, I'm Armin Arlaird Superfan, welcoming you back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. In this episode, I will be playing level 2-2, Mountain Mania. Which has the return of a very special friend to the Donkey Kong Country series. I like the giant pumpkins. This is like pumpkin farmland. Taking Dixie along for the... Really? Taking Dixie along for the ride, it looks like. And... It's Rambi the Rhino! They've included Rambi the Rhino in this game. How awesome is that? He can run over spikes. And there's a puzzle piece hidden right there. Whenever you see a block with a rhino face on it, you're gonna wanna run it over. Press ZR or ZL to get off of Rambi. You just, you could just run over enemies. And you can press the X button to make him charge. He'll run extremely fast. Also, you have your uh, first bonus game here. Now, luckily, you don't take Rambi with you into the bonus game. That would be kind of awkward. That banana. I need it. 16 seconds. N not even half the time allotted. Well, barely half the time allotted. When you're not moving, you can press the X or Y button to make Rambi stomp the ground, which is the same as Donkey Kong's hand slap. You can also break the bells or charge into the towers completely. But you're going to want to ring the bells first because if you destroy the towers, it doesn't count as getting the goodies. Here we have several bananas to collect. And that gives you a puzzle piece. Rambi inside a barrel cannon. <laughs> That's funny. Also, similar to when you jump on Yoshi in games like Super Mario Sunshine, it adds a percussion beat to the music. Oh, the bananas. Not that I really need them, but when you do collect 100 bananas, you get an extra life. It's a swinging good time. Oh, I needed that. If an enemy is behind Rambi, he'll actually kick them. Ring that bell and that bell. And that bell has a puzzle piece. These platforms you're going to want to haul ass across because they'll collapse. Now this next section, I died on a few times when I first played this game. Because, oh no, when you stomp on this drum, it cracks that mountain that does not look very good at all. Run, 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 run. Because, oh, also you want to stop and make sure you get this puzzle piece. But other than that, run. And don't stop. Don't stop. Because you do not want to be hit by whatever the crap is raining down. And apparently if you collect all those items, you get the puzzle piece. Oh, I was supposed to bounce off that guy. Guess the game just didn't feel like it. That's all seven puzzle pieces. And I almost misjumped there. That would have been pretty bad, considering the checkpoint is right there. There's a reason they're giving you a checkpoint, because more collapsing platforms. Run! 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 
And the letter G is here. You gotta bounce off the mouse, dude, to get the G. There's all the Kong letters. And end level. I got a banana coin. K-O-N-G. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are done here. Never have to come back. Job well done. I don't really start having trouble with these levels until, uh, maybe World 4. Completing that level unlocks level 2-3, Horn Top Hop. Very fun level also. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you next time on Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Armin Arler, Superfan, out!